my god! Wow! Alright, and welcome to part 4 on how to make a custom pet system. Now, in today's video, we're going to be making the pet UI, so we're going to make it load the pets. And we're also going to try to get around to making interactions. So, for example, E to open, R to open, free, etc. Now, I have been testing the system out and I did come across a bug, okay? The bug is, if we add more than one egg, it glitches, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this egg. We're going to name this rare egg. So, let's just do rare egg. We're going to delete all this after, so this isn't necessary. But I'll show you what the bug is. So, if we name that rare egg, go to modules, egg stats. And then add in rare egg here. If we go ahead and test this, as you can see, the UI only shows for this egg when it should show for both of these, okay? So we're going to do some debugging, and when I find a bug, I'll tell you how to fix it. Five hours later. Unless we have to do this. Task spawn function. And then we just delete all these prints. I think this should work. Here we go. Let's give this a test. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we have now fixed a bug, so we can add a multiple eggs if we need to. But for now, let's just delete the rare egg. So delete it here and delete it in the egg stats. Alright, so now we fixed that bug and we can have multiple eggs in the game. What you want to do is you want to go start a player, start a player scripts, game and egg display. Now once you're in egg display, what you want to do is you want to go back to your open egg UI script. And just under the pet UI, we want to script it so it loads the pets, okay? Once again, like I always say, I will skip past this bit, otherwise the video will go on for centuries. And I'm sure you don't want to be watching the video for centuries, so let's just skip past this bit. Make sure you follow along, and once again, if you haven't seen the previous parts, go and watch them, otherwise you're going to be stuck on what to do. You're going to have to follow the series every step of the way if you want your own pet system. Now with all that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so I just done some tests in and I edited some of the code. So all I've done is I've just made the layout a function now. Now we can easily get the percentage and we can make the pet images go in order. And that's about it. The pet images also load now, which is great. Well, in fact, now we can do rarity colors, okay? So go ahead into GUI, insert a folder. We're gonna name this gradients. Then inside of this folder, just make this rarities, name this rarities. Now insert a UI gradient layout, or just a UI gradient. And for the legendary one, all we're gonna do is just create a simple rainbow effect, just like this. Make this one red. We'll do like pastel colors instead of like bright blooming colors like this and over here we can do pink okay now just name this legendary let's add another gradient and we're gonna name this basic this will just be one color let's go ahead go here we can do something like that now we can do well, let's do common. So instead of basic, do common. And then uncommon. Okay, awesome. 
Now we're going to continue scripting and without further ado, let's get on with it. As you can see, it now has the rarity color, which is the common one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add another pet into this pets module, okay? So go ahead into replicate storage, modules, then pets. Duplicate this, let's name it two, then we're gonna name this cat. And we're gonna make the rarity uncommon, okay? Now for the pet images, I already have made some pets. I'm using pets out of a previous pet system or a previous game I was making. So we're just going to go ahead and use these. Feel free to just copy the ID. This one will be called a cat. There we go. And this will do. Let's give this a quick test. Oh wait, we need to add it inside the egg modules as well. So whenever you add a pet, if you want it to show up in the egg, you're going to have to add it in the egg stat script. So you can see one, then we're going to we're gonna add another table and this will be the second pet and we'll give this a 50% chance, okay? Let's give this a quick test. Now it should work. Yep, this works. Okay, we did the ID wrong. Let's just go ahead and fix this real quick. So if we go back into our pet script, insert this ID instead, click play. And there we go. As you can see, we have a dog and a cat now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert one more pet and this will be called Bunny, okay? So go ahead into pets again, duplicate this, name it free, name it Bunny. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this legendary. I'm going to insert the image here, there we go. Add it inside of the egg stats. This is the Bunny, give it a 1% chance maybe. Click play. And let's just double check something. We need to change the image of the bunny again. There we go, click play, and there we go. As you can see, the gradient doesn't really show that well for the legendary pets. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that real quick. So all we're gonna do is just go back into gradients. And we're just gonna add a load more colors, okay? There we go, let's click play. As you can see, we now have somewhat a rainbow effect going across this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the interaction for this, okay? So go ahead and click stop. X out of all your scripts so far. The loading pets is pretty much done for now. We don't really need to do anything else to this. So just go ahead, X out of that. Now, we're gonna have to create another billboard GUI. Once again, I will leave this billboard GUI in the description below. Completely free to download, you're gonna need it, so go ahead, get it yourself or customize your own, it doesn't really matter. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Alright, so once you've inserted your billboard GUI, it should look like this. Go ahead and make a folder. We're going to name this billboards, okay? Go ahead and insert this billboard GUI into here. And delete this part here. Now for today's video, I'm going to leave it here. Now, it's quite a short video because next episode will be quite a long episode. Now with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.